Chapter 2, Lesson 2, Solve Two-Step Equations. You will be able to solve two-step equations. A two-step equation contains two operations. In the equation, 2x plus 3 equals 7, x is multiplied by 2, and then 3 is added. To solve two-step equations, undo each operation in the reverse order. Solve each equation. So again, in letter A, 2 is multiplied by x, and then 3 is added. So we have to work in reverse order. Since plus 3 was the last thing that occurred, we need to get rid of it by subtracting by 3 on both sides. On the left-hand side, you would have 2x equals, and 7 minus 3 is 4. From here, we solve as usual. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals 2. Letter B. Plus 2 is the last thing that occurs, so we need to subtract 2 from both sides. We have 3x equals, and 20 minus 2 is 18. To get x by itself, we're going to divide by 3 and we get x equals 6. Letter C. Don't let the fraction confuse you. Minus 3 is happening again at the end, so we need to reverse it by adding 3 to both sides. 25 plus 3 is 28, and we are left with 1 fourth n. And now it's just like the previous lesson. To get rid of 1 fourth, we multiply both sides by the reciprocal, and we'll put 28 over 1. On the right hand side, they cancel out to leave you with n equals, and on the left hand side, we have 112 for the numerator, one for the denominator, which is just 112. Letter D, we need to take care of the addition of 9 by subtracting 9. You always take care of that addition and subtraction first when possible. Negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10 equals 1 half A. To get a by itself, we will multiply by the reciprocal and put that negative 10 over 1. These cancel, leaving us with a on the right-hand side. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20 over 1. And negative 20 over 1 is just negative 20. Letter E. Two-fifths are minus five equals seven. The minus five occurs last, so let's add five to both sides. And we have two-fifths are equals seven plus five is twelve. To get rid of a fractional coefficient, we multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. And we are left with r equals 12 times 5 is 60, 1 times 2 is 2. We have 60 over 2, which simplifies to 30. Letter f is a little tricky. Negative 3 is multiplied by x, and 6 is added. 6 is added because the coefficient, or I'm sorry, the sign before the 6 there's nothing there, so it's understood positive. Don't let this minus sign confuse you. We still need to get rid of a positive 6. If I were to hide everything else in the equation, okay, you would see a positive 6. To get rid of a positive 6, we would subtract it from both sides. Bring down everything, including the negative sign. 
So negative 3x equals, and 21 minus 6 is 15. Divide both sides by negative 3, and we get x equals negative 5. Letter G. Again, we have a positive 10 by itself. This is called a constant. We need to get rid of it by subtracting 10. The opposite of a positive number is a negative number. Bring down everything, including that negative. So we have negative 2 thirds P equals 52 minus 10 is 42. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 3 halves. Forty-two times negative three is negative one twenty-six. One times two is two. Simplify and you get P equals negative sixty-three. Letter H. We have a plus two added on to our variable term. So we will subtract two from both sides. Negative 21 equals negative 3x. Divide both sides by negative 3. We get positive 7 equals x. Letter I. The constant that's attached to the variable is negative 2. To get rid of it, we add 2 to both sides. I get n over negative 3 equals negative 16. On the left side, we have n divided by negative 3, because remember, fractions are division. So we're just going to multiply both sides by negative 3. And negative 16 times negative 3 is a positive 48. Letter J, we need to get rid of the minus 7 first. So we will add 7 to both sides. Negative 1 half X equals negative 4. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is negative 2 over 1. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 over 1 times 1 is 1. So just x equals 8. Chicago's lowest recorded temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is negative 27 degrees. Solve the equation negative 27 equals 1.8 C plus 32 to convert degrees to Celsius. So let's solve for C. I need to get rid of the constant attached to that variable by subtracting 32 on both sides. On the right, we bring down our 1.8C. And on the left, we get negative 59. Divide both sides by 1.8. And we get negative 32.7 repeating equals C. So we will say, we'll round to the nearest whole number. Negative 33 degrees Celsius. So negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit is the same thing as negative 33 degrees Celsius.